three words we're going to start with, and they're not actually on your notes, but I want to throw them out into the room as kind of something, uh, as a context for which I'm going to be speaking. There is ownership, there is management, and there is leadership. Ownership, management, and leadership. We call our office manager and office manager. She's not the office leader. She looks to me for the leadership of the office. And then she gets a certain percentage. Of, she then gets developing modeling and skills to lead others. She has a, someone under her as a staff. So then she leads her staff, do you see? So you train people to lead and manage, and then they know how to do that with others. It goes down, right? I could walk away tomorrow. I could, I could sell my studio to that young woman over there in the blue dress. Rachel, you've got to get to her if you see her around today. She's visiting today. I could sell my studio to her tomorrow, and she has everything it takes to climb that mountain, even if she's never climbed it before, and it's going to hurt like hell to do it. Do you understand? And she's going to be facing a lot of danger. But she has been equipped and knows how to lead from the, from the many experiences she's had, not just with our studio, but with the other opportunities she's had. After looking at the definitions of leadership and what is expected, we'll explore the five C's of effective leadership. So leadership is the power or ability to lead other people, a position as a leader of a group. Well, that sounds simple enough. I'm a leader. Mm, good for you. <laughs> right? So how many people know that there's bad leadership from good leadership? And a lot of times when people are leading from their ego only, you just get domination and control. You don't get any kind of leadership. Leadership is always about empowering us. Every interaction you have, write this down. Every interaction you have, every conversation, every text, every email, every phone call, every interaction you have is your leadership. It might look like managing something. It might look like just answering the cup, but it's leadership because it's coming from some kind of overall purpose, like I'm going to climb the alley. You want to say I'm going to have a respectable, sensitive, caring, artistic environment for which my students to learn, my teachers to work, and myself to enjoy each day. All right? So if every shot counts, 